You want to know what's inside this? <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. This is one of my uh, grandmother's recipe. It's a um, chicken rotolo. We call it a chicken meatloaf, but <laughs> you'll see what's inside. It's really, really, really amazing. I'm putting some really, 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 really dark cracked black pepper in here. A little bit of thyme, fresh thyme in it. That's gonna, uh, that's gonna just burn a little bit, but it's gonna give it a nice little flavor on the outside. And this, friends, is uh, the next level of a meatloaf. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, friends. This is a fabulous recipe. I love it hot as much as I love it cold. Cold as a, with the charcuterie plate, it's fabulous. It's um, it's a kind of like a, think about it as a chicken loaf, meat loaf, except it's made with chicken. And uh, it's actually it's got some salami in there, the Genoa. Uh, it's really it's got bacon wrapped around it. It's, it's really really it's kind of like a meat loaf. It's a it's a meat loaf made mostly with chicken. So. I'm gonna have some ground chicken in there, and I don't know if you guys seen uh, ground chicken at the grocery store, but trust me, you don't wanna buy ground chicken at the grocery store. I mean, you can make this recipe with ground chicken and it'll work, but I'd rather do my own ground chicken. Number one, I don't like chicken fat. You want chicken fat? You go ahead and buy the ground chicken, okay? And they tell you uh, lean chicken, yeah, lean, sure, until you see it done. Uh, and first of all, chicken fat's got no flavor. Maybe years ago, chicken fat was good. Today, chicken fat's got nothing. So you know what I do? I, just buy, I buy beautiful chicken breast, and I put them in my own grinder. You don't need to do that, but trust me, if you use a lot of hamburger meat or ground meat, come buy yourself one of those for 60 bucks, 80 bucks, 100 bucks, let's say, at the maximum. And you'll never again buy ground meat at the grocery store. Ground pork, ground anything. Do it yourself. It's really no big deal. Let's do it. Let's grind the meat and then we'll do the inside. So now noisy, yeah? But look, we're gonna put our chicken in there. Very simple, right? Eh? Look at this, folks. I tell you, you make it yourself once, you'll never go buy that chicken again at the grocery store, ground chicken, right? Go in there. Now. Oh, there's more in there. <laughs> okay. Now. So, working at the butcher shop when I was a child, we used to do all this, and, uh, and let me tell you, it's so much better you do it yourself, okay? Now, to clean up the, uh, the ground, because there's a little bit of chicken here, normally you put a piece of bread. I don't have a piece of bread, but guess what? I have a, a breadcrumb, because I'm putting breadcrumb in a recipe, fresh breadcrumb, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of breadcrumb in there, and the breadcrumb, normally you put a piece of bread in there, and, and it'll push it through it, okay? But the breadcrumb is gonna push a little bit to see, look. And when you see the breadcrumb, you know you got on the other side of it, okay? See right there? That's it. Now, this is because I like to really, really do things perfectly, so I'm using this. You don't have one of those, don't worry about it. Just buy the ground chicken at the store, it'll be perfectly fine, okay? All right, so ground chicken, and uh, we're going to put some uh, ingredients in there, and then we're going to prepare the mold. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to saute some onion. I got a little bit of onion in there. Right now I'm lucky because it's the time of the year where Vidalia onion are in season. So that's what I got. I got Vidalia onion in there. I'm going to saute them a little bit real quick and I'm going to put some dried tomatoes. And then I'm going to prepare the mold. I'm using a regular loaf pan that I'm going to line with bacon. Then I'm going to put a chicken breast. On top of the chicken breast, I'm gonna put ham. On top of that, I'm gonna put the ground meat, and then I'm gonna repeat, and I'm gonna close it. This is gonna be delicious. I'm looking, my chicken is in the refrigerator. I like to keep my chicken and my ham, all my cold cut, until the last minute. I like to keep them in the refrigerator, okay? Remember the danger zone for food is 40 to 140. 40 to 140, what does that mean? That means 
when the food comes out, the refrigerator, at 40 degrees, it's when bacteria start growing, 40 to 140. So your refrigerator should be at 38, 40 degrees. The minute you take the food out, bacteria start growing. So you don't want to leave it out too long, all right? So we're going to saute some onion in there, and we're going to mix it with the, with the chicken and the sun-dried tomato and egg and salamis and all kind of stuff, and that's going to be a stuffing. All right, we're going to saute some onion. You're going to saute it. You don't want to put raw onion, okay? You do not want to put raw onion in your, uh, in your uh, meatloaf or in anything you're making like that. You got to cook the onion, all right? So you cook them, and then we're going to put a bit of sun-dried tomatoes. And, it's, and, that, and what that's going to do, that's going to soften the sun-dried tomatoes, right? And it's going to caramelize the onion so they'll be sweet. We're going to do it slowly so I can start doing the mold. I got bacon in here, and I'm going to lay this out, all right, folks? Very simple to do, I promise you. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to take the bacon right there, and we're going to line it. That We're going to pull it a little bit if it's too short. Put it just a little bit. Just a little bit so it covers the whole bottom of the pan right there, you see? All right, so now we're going to go in. Now, sometimes you get bacon, it's not so pretty. Put it a little bit, just a little bit, okay? Sometimes we get bacon that's not so pretty, but today we're very lucky. We've got beautiful bacon. You see, look at this, gorgeous. And you got to make sure it stays. Hey, you, stay over there. It's a little short. Uh, the bacon is not very, very long. Let me make sure I get this. I go, get, I'm going to lower this because it's such a big burner. Such a big burner in here. Then it'll it burn quickly. I don't want to burn anything. Because this, uh, this is a long segment, eh, friends. And uh, I always like to mention this. You know, this is not a regular cooking channel where you go in and out, bam, 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 thank you, ma'am, quick video. This is the cooking lesson. Okay, remember, this is what I am, a cooking instructor. That's what I do for a living. I've been doing this. I've been a chef for 54 years. Okay, and uh, and, and and so I like I like when the, when I get uh, some uh, the the YouTube police recipe police and telling me how to do things. I'm like, yeah, thank you very much. You go ahead and do it your way. <laughs> like my onion video, everybody is telling me, oh, you shouldn't cut the root of the onion. <laughs> shouldn't cut the root of the onion. Uh, then you're going to cry. Uh, ay, 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 ay. Go watch the onion video. You'll understand what I'm talking about. I don't want to take you there because uh, you'll, you'll see it. All right, so now look, so far so good, right? We don't have much on the side, right? You notice that? We don't have much on the side? Well, don't worry. You'll watch. In the meantime, I'm cooking the onion. We don't have much on the side. You notice this is not very much, right? Don't worry. Look, look, look what happened here. We're going to take another slice of bacon. We're going to put it right there. We're going to put another slice of bacon. We're going to put it right there. I'm going to put another one right there, and so on, and so on, and so on. And you're going to say, what is he going to be doing? You'll see, you'll see. Stick around. This is really cool. This is really cool. Now, remember now, folks, this is not like a Wednesday afternoon. The kids are hungry. We're going to make a limit loaf. This is a little more fancy. Yeah? This is a little bit more fancy. Not really too fancy, but just a little bit fancy, right? All right? So now, what we're going to do, we're going to close it, and they're going to go over there. So now what's going to happen on the other side, we're going to be a little short, but that's okay. Because guess what? I got another <laughs> piece of bacon that I was ready for that. And this time, I'm not going to need a full slice. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Hang, hang on. Hey, how are we doing on the onion? Okay, they're good, eh? Let's turn them off so I don't have to worry about them no more. All right. You'll see, you'll see in a minute. Hmm. I don't have much space. How about that? I don't need much space, you see? There you go. I'm going to take this right there, friends, and I'm going to go right there. I guess I could have used another slice, so I guess what? Here it is. All right? Okay, so now let's put all this out of the way. So far, so good. We're all set up. Okay? The only thing that we need is for me to get a wet rag so I can clean my hand. I like to have clean hands when I work. I like to have a clean space and clean hand. All right, so let's push this aside just for a second, and let's finish this mixture right here. All right, so we got the chicken. We're gonna put some salami de Genoa, cut in little cubes, okay? 
We're going to put a little bit of garlic. I got, this is my uh, chopped garlic, and we made a video on that, the chopped garlic. It's chopped garlic and olive oil, yeah? Put a little bit in there. You don't need a lot. You want it to be in the background. Remember, good seasoning is very delicate in the background. Some chopped mint. Chopped mint. You're going to say, that's strange. It is. <laughs> that is also very nice. Chopped parsley. Chopped parsley. A little bit of the fresh breadcrumb again than we had earlier, right? And we're going to break a couple of eggs. A couple of eggs. This one doesn't want to get broken. Here we go. Let's wait until we mix it up before we put the egg in there. Salt and pepper. There you go. Salt and pepper. Right? And then we're going to mix all this up. You see? We're going to mix all this up. Keep it mixing, and then I'm going to put the eggs in there. I don't want to put the eggs quite yet. It'll be easier to mix them when this is a little more mixed, okay? So we got, we got our, our garlic in there. We got our herbs in there. Now we're going to put our onion in there. You see? Sun-dried tomatoes, onion. All right, we're going to mix all this up. Mix it all up. And then we're going to mix eggs. And this, friends, is going to be the inside of this loaf. You see? Now, you got to really take the time to mix it up well, friends. Okay? Take the time to really, really mix it. I promise you, this is going to be delicious. It just takes a little time to make, you know? Some of the stuff we make takes a little time. You know, it's not, not everything is so easy, you know? It takes a little time. All right, so here we are, we have it. All right, so now, let's finish to build this thing, okay? What we do now, we put this aside, we're gonna bring the mold over there, because I don't need that anymore. And now, we're gonna clean this up, and now we're gonna make it, okay? So now, at this point, what we're going to do, where's my chicken breast? Oh, here it is. <laughs> we're going to take a chicken breast right there, and we're going to put it, or we can put the ham in there first. It doesn't matter. I got some beautiful black forest ham. It doesn't matter. You can put the ham first. You can put the ham second. Uh, after, it doesn't matter what order you put them in, okay? This is a black forest ham. This is beautiful. All right. Then we're going to put our chicken. And we're going to cover, we're going to make sure that the whole side is covered right there. So we're going to cut it. Basically, we're going to cut it, you see? So we have the whole thing covered, you see? And if we're missing a little piece, we just put it in there. We just put it right in there, you see? Right in there. Pretty simple, right? Okay, if you're missing another piece. Right there, I can see I'm missing a couple of pieces right there. I'm going to put them back in there, all right? Now, a little more salt and pepper. Right? Then we're going to put our mixture. Let me get myself a big spoon. So I don't do everything with my hands. And I'm going to pour this right in there. Now, at this point, you got to be like uh, packing, packing it in. You got to say to yourself, what else do I got to put in here? What? I got to put more chicken on top. You got to pack it in, pack it in, pack it in, pack it in. You see? You got to pack it in. Pack it in, pack it in, pack it in. And when you don't think you can put any more, just see if you can pack it in a little bit more, okay? Don't be afraid to put extra because it'll find its way and it'll reduce somewhat in size a little bit not much but a little bit so right there i think we're going to be doing just fine we're using it all you see pack it in yeah, look 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 we're going to use it all we're going to use it all when i make this i love making extra 
because um, it's so delicious cold. All right, so we got it right there. Now we're going to put our ham. It cut the ham a little too small. See that ham? It's a little small. It's a beautiful ham, though. It's a black forest ham. It's beautiful. It smells amazing. But it's a little thin, you see? Just a little thin. I mean, I'd rather have it thin than thick, to tell you the truth. I'd rather have it thin than thick. I think it's good, just like this, right? And then we put our chicken. You can do the other way around. It doesn't matter. You can put the chicken first. You can do the, uh, the. Uh, but you know what I think I did? I did the chicken first and the other thing. So let me just fix it. I did. I did the chicken first on the other side. Let me make sure I got enough right there. I want to do it the same way I did it on the other side. I change it all the time. It's not like it's written in stone. You know, it doesn't really matter. And don't worry about it with the PC. If the piece of the chicken is um. What do you think? How about right here? If a piece of chicken are not together, they're going to cook together. They're going to stay together perfect, so you don't worry about any of that. And I remove 90% of the fat of the chicken because I don't like it. A little salt and pepper right there. All right, a little salt and pepper right there. And now we're going to put our ham, okay? And like I said, don't worry if it's all broken pieces of it. You'll never know it, I promise you. You'll never know they're broken pieces. Put it right in there, see? You'll never know. It'll look beautiful, no matter what you do. I promise you. You see? There you go. Mamma mia. All right, good. Let me clean my hands. Now let's close this up, all right? And all we're doing is very simple to close this up. We're going to close the side first, okay? All right, so close the side. Pull them, pull them, and don't worry about if they if it's very little because you're gonna see in a minute. It really doesn't matter. All right, close the side. Do the same here, and pull a little bit. Don't pull too much because you crack it. It's got no place to go. Remember, pack it in, pack it in, pack it in. Voila, 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 voila. Now. I'm going to close this guy, close this guy, and now I'm going to close up the whole thing. You see? You see, you see, you see? So now what I do here, I have a little too much bacon right here. You could leave it on, but it's not going to look very pretty. Okay, so what I do is I cut it off, okay? I like to do is just cut it off. I don't need it. All right, friends. So now, what we're going to do, friends, we're going to put it in on a cookie sheet, and we're just going to bake it. So let me get a cookie sheet ready. I forgot to get one ready. No problem. That's the beautiful thing about being in a commercial kitchen. You can get things ready in a, in a split second. Take a cookie sheet lined with a seal pad, lined with a seal pad. Take your meat loaf or your chicken loaf, put it in here. Do one of these and gently, 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 gently take it out. And I mean gently because if you're not gentle, the bacon could disturb itself a little bit, okay? So if you notice, friends, we got a beautiful on all sides, you see? That's why I wanted to remove the extra one right there, right? Right there, look, see? It's a perfect box. It's a perfect, 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 perfect right there. Very, very simple, you see? Now we're gonna bake this until we have an internal temperature of about 160 degrees. We're gonna let it rest and we are going to cut it. Like I said, you can eat this cold or you can eat it hot. First, you're gonna eat it hot, you know, with the mashed potatoes and the mushroom sauce or so many things you can do with this, right? 
Oh, and, and then whatever you have left for the next day, you slice the thing, you make a cold plate with it, it's fabulous, all right? We're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna bake it. Okay, we are gonna go and get that rotola in the oven, friends. Oh yeah, check it out. Check If you could be in a studio right now and smelling this thing, it's amazing. So I cook it on a cookie sheet uh, uh, lined with a seal pad. So look at this, look at this. <laughs> Man, I think it's heavy, let me tell you. Look at this, friends. This is amazing. I promise you, you are gonna love it. Let's get ready to cut this and uh, ooh, and see what's inside, friends. Let me tell you, this is gonna be amazing. Look at it, I'm gonna cut into it, I can't wait. I put some fresh thyme in there because <laughs> the thyme that I put in there to cook it with got all burned, but it's okay because it gives a beautiful flavor. All right, so now, are you ready? You ready? Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, baby. Check it out. Oh, yeah, baby. Check this out. Check it out, friend. Look at this. It's still beautiful, smoking hot. Look how gorgeous that is. You see? The bacon, the ham, the chicken, and then our ground, the chicken. More chicken, more ham, more bacon. Yeah, how beautiful is that? And remember, make an extra one, because tomorrow coal is even better. I love it with cornichon. Delicious. All right, friends, this is an amazing recipe. A chicken meatloaf, a chicken, chicken rotolo. This is a chicken meatloaf on steroids. So easy to do, you guys gotta do. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and don't forget to ring the bell.